Hey everybody, and welcome back to our next video of our prompt chain tutorial. So today we're going to talk about how can we extract entities dynamically with a large language model. And why would we want to do that? So what we want to do is be able to take a user's order. So remember we added this intent detection step down here. And we want to be able to extract all the menu items. And we don't want to provide a set list on how we want to extract them in a traditional NLE way, because our cowboy owner here might give us different menu items all the time. So how can we dynamically do that? Let's go ahead and grab a response AI step, drag that onto the canvas, and our trusty capture step. So with our capture step, we're going to capture the reply to last user utterance. That sounds great. And actually, let's create a new variable here. Call it uh, order items. Now we're going to grab order items, and we're going to tell our generative model uh, to extract all menu items. Name that on the block, and let's write our prompt. So we can say extract all the menu items in order items. And let's have it formatted in, in JSON. So JSON is a standard uh, format that we use for structuring data in various programming languages. So let's say format order items as a JSON array. If you don't know what a JSON array is, don't worry about it. Um, we'll just get some nicely structured data, as you'll see. And then let's try to preview this. Let's say, I want some smoked jerky. I don't know how to spell jerky. And an iced tea. Smoked jerky, iced tea. That sounds great. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. So we can do a couple of things here. We can either use the response AI step just to print it out, or we can use our set AI step to save it to a variable. So let's just put it into this response AI step to start. So we'll go ahead and hit run. Let's go through our standard flow. What do you have on the menu? Just typing that out while our cowboy thinks. Okay, say I'm ready to order. I'm gonna jump down to the bottom here. I want some tangy brisket. With some bread. There we go. And then we've printed out what the user wants. So that's pretty helpful. Um, how can we actually use this in a more advanced application? Let's cover that. So let's go ahead and grab that prompt and add our set AI step here instead. Let's say save menu items called structured menu items. Structured menu items. Add our prompt here. Our set label was say set to structured order. Now we're going to save that to new variable structured order. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to save that to that variable, and then we can add our confirmation at the end. So let's add our confirmation here. Let's say uh, order. Great. I'll grab you some yeah, here, structured order. So this is using the text step. Uh, to do so. We can also use the generative text step here. So let's actually do that. Grab 
have our structure set step because we want to use our persona here. Um, respond to user order. So we'll say again persona. Say based on the customer's order. Wrap that in quotation marks. Uh, repeat it back to them as confirmation. Okay, so let's test that out. I actually need a persona variable there, so let's go copy what we have. Say preview. You are the owner of a cowboy restaurant, and we'll say we have brisket and cornbread. Generate. There we go. So here we have it. Uh, we've created our uh, entity extraction where we can grab any menu item that we want to order, save it to a variable, and have our restaurant owner confirm it back to us. In the next video, we're going to wrap things up and actually give ourselves the ability to place this order to the back kitchen so that we can get some, some tasty food at the end.